1-804-786-2211. That's 1-804-786-2211. Call, call the governor's office. Press 4. That was a black lady that answered. Hey, we should have got her name. I, I'm just shocked. How do you know a black lady? Look, she has to sound black. And she never denied her black. I think that was a white woman acting black. I think that was a white woman acting black. I called her black and Uncle Tom, and she never denied it. Because she's black. Because she's black. Because she's black. Because she's black. Because black. Because she's black. Because she's black. she never denied it. And she never denied it. She said, ma'am, you just insulted me or nothing. She accepted what she was. So she was a black Uncle Tom. But I do want to tell you, we need to call this office. I'm asking just one thing. Explain to us the purpose of why. The governor wants to instill this. They're telling us to go read online. We feel that there's some people just don't have internet access to know how to do all the things to get the, the direct source. Because how yep. do we know what is online is true? Surely. We want to know from the source. Call that number right now. They don't right want now. to talk to you. It just sounds they don't to me want to like, talk look, to anybody. No, they don't if talk you to don't anybody. have money, <laughs> you can't just help the is. government along. That's what it sounds like to me. Close so, out, yeah. Douglas. Close Close out. it. Thank you guys for your comments and wonder. That's that's crazy, man. Just, we're just going to keep moving on to the next subject. Now, we do have the video for your Democrats saying the F word about the U.S. Oh, well, go mm. ahead and play it then. Okay. Can you play it? That, that was the next topic, right? Oh. Well, I was going to bring it somewhere else. Okay. We're well, gonna go bring there. It to... I'm following you, Doug. Okay. Come on. <laughs> let's go on a trip around the bend up the river. <laughs> so, we're going to talk about the economy for teenagers. I want to give you guys there out there, a, and you guys in the there room. There is no economy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So, I know this, what you is, mean. this is the view from <laughs> teens today. Yes, I am 18 years old. Yes, I talk to my friends about politics. Yes, we have an issue to discuss. So the economy is down. My mama's always talking about it on the show, on, with her friends, in the restaurants, with her own mama. Come on. It's crazy. Yes, the economy is down. But we want to talk about it with teens. Now, today I was, I've been talking to my friends, and I wanted to get their opinion on it. And overall, after we talked about this governor and that and things that are going on around us, it came down to we don't care. <laughs> like, yes. Look, yeah, it is all you guys' that. heads just twisted, literally. <laughs> but in the end, that that's a very abrupt version of it. The, the nice version is, it doesn't affect us. As teenagers, we talk to each other and we, we look at the economy and things, how things are going on, and we, A, are not involved, and B, it doesn't, we don't see the effects of things. I mean, you guys keep talking about how, yes, gas is going up and da 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 The closest we come to having the effects of it is, okay, we have to bring two more bucks from mom's house, and then we, we have harder time getting into community colleges when we go to college. I mean, it doesn't affect us at all. So when you guys talk about how this is going down and this is going down and how all these laws are changing and stuff like that, it, we, don't, we don't get it. <laughs> what do you guys have any thoughts? Well, Douglas, Douglas, in all fairness, first of all, let me just congratulate you because your interest of, in politics at your age already shows a budding, you know, consciousness. That's but nice. for most but people, no you know, <laughs> only a certain, you know, if you think about it, a, a, it's only a fraction of your high schoolers that are reading the paper or watching the news. So, now, I'm going to have to disagree with you on that. We take classes in economics. We take classes in Christian lifestyles and religion. And we don't just talk about religion. We don't just talk about the economy. In civics, too. You in take civics. civics. Mm -hmm. It's all the same classes. And we, we take these classes and they force us to go look at the news. Yeah, some of them the do. That's true. They make you we read the newspaper to, day. We learn about these class, things. If you do your homework. On top of the stuff. <laughs> if you do your homework. See, <laughs> see we always hear the good kids, students do like your you. homework line. See, Douglas. Do your homework line. But not just that. But then we hear the lines like, you, you, we all watch TV. We always hear, see the prop 11. Remember, say no on prop 11. <laughs> it's good to say no because blah, blah, blah. We as seniors, we don't know what that is. We, I mean, <laughs> you know, you get this. Hey, no, we don't know either. Hey, the adults yeah, don't do know you either. Know? <laughs> I mean, I no, don't know. No, no, it, no. I feel like stupid or something because I should be looking out and doing all this stuff. But... <laughs> Come on, we don't know. It doesn't affect us, for one, because all these props have been passing all of our lives. I mean, we've only been alive 17, 18 years. So, I mean... Well, you know what happens, Douglas? You get there and you look up and it starts to affect you. Let me tell you one of the ones that's affecting right now. That'll hit you soon, right? Okay. But hopefully this is a good one. Hopefully this is a good They tied in at least some reforms for the loans for mm -hmm. college. So, so that there's going to be at least... You know, it's really been a bleak landscape in terms of financing for people going to college for like the last 10, 15 years. Mm -hmm. There was a time when I went that you could get low interest loans, 3%, 2%. See, my point being this. We're so young, we don't know the past. You guys talk about how, yes, things have changed. It's harder to get loans. Well, for us, it's just like, 
this is how to get loans. Well, you it's not saying. that big of a thing where well, it's like, oh no. No, some of you are not going to get loans. <laughs> well, I have some friends that ain't going to get loans, you know what I mean? Because they don't need money. They, they have it. Well, but I'm for saying, the rest of the us, other like ones... myself, it's just, that's the way things are rolling out. Like what I was saying with the community college, it's a little hard to get into college and whatnot. But like we're saying, we don't feel the effects because we're not Douglas. Old. Ow. Douglas, this but is going to affect no. your dating rituals. <laughs> my dating rituals? It's going to affect your no. dating rituals. How's it going to affect my because dating rituals? Because you're not going to be right? able to buy Tell that me. magnum pack of condoms like you could in the past. Oh, now you're going to be forced. <laughs> now you're going to have to be forced to just really? be safe. Really? Because you won't be able to afford just it. be safe. You won't be able just to not, afford I'm it. I'm sorry, Mario. Not all of us college kids are going out having sex every Tuesday. All well, right? I'm just saying. You know? That, that you magnum know? pack that you to last you three months, now it's going to have to last you a year. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because it was the, no, it was, the, it was the Bristol Palin's PSAs that are coming out, you know, speaking out against, you know, uh, teen sex and stuff like well, that. Well, at, at 18, gonna, at 18 let's him. face it, a lot of the sperm is hitting the pitcher's mitt. Well, wow. Mario. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, we got me on the joke. <laughs> right. I mean, what well, made you feel like that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't really care. I'm not sexually, crazy active not like you, some Douglas. of my friends are. Sorry, guys. Not you, Douglas. Me. That was me. That oh, was me. okay. <laughs> you had it going on and everywhere with every Catch woman. Everywhere. All right. Well, um, I, I have to what? say this right now. Excuse me. We got folks in the chat room. What are they Surely they're asking, and and because you guys jumped to another subject they're like they want the governor of Virginia's telephone number so we gotta put it in the chat oh, because no they're gonna call they're gonna call, they call, call, they call, they call, call, call what is it Seriously, call. Michelle is right and remember, I still have that video about fuck, uh, excuse me, F, <laughs> oh. Democrats saying F the U.S. Bleep, right? This is Shirley's selection. It. Democrats saying F the U.S. We do have that video ready. Okay, well, 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 we'll let you know when we need that, Mario. One second. Let's go through and give what the family wants out there in the yep, chat what's room. The number? That number again. Call number. Governor, what's his name? Governor what? Governor well, asshole uh, of it is Virginia? Bob McConnell. McDonald's, excuse me. Um, oh, McDonald's. that's right. Spell that, spell that for us. Bob B O B. Spell it, Douglas. You got M C D O N E L L. I can hear you. I'm talking. Oh, my. Say it oh, again. Capital M. Bob B O B. And then McDonald, which is M C D O N E L L. Got it. Okay. Okay, so that number, so the family knows, it's 804. 804. 786. 786. Two two one two, one. Two, one one. There you go, yeah. chat room. And, and I would not vote this man back in office. I want every Republican and Democrat in Virginia do not vote for this man. I want you to find out who's running up against him. When is his term out? Let's let's find out a little history of this man. Yeah, because go this man does it. not have the right go to do what he's doing. It. All you guys online right now, go. You can call right now, like we've been saying. Please fight against that. Back to the subject at hand. Seriously, though, call. Do so. Back to the subject of the hand, what, I mean, I know the family's talking about the other thing, but what are you guys thinking about the whole economy thing? I mean, we don't, we don't really feel it. Do you feel that we need to be educated? Are you worried that we're growing up? I mean, this is no. literally the thoughts enjoy, of my class. Enjoy your youth. I am pleased enough with the interest that you're demonstrating here in politics. Enjoy your youth. <laughs> enjoy oh. it. Enjoy it. No, I'm saying that oh, because, yeah. no, 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 because <laughs> it gets so serious in a minute and you don't get to go back. Yeah, yeah, that's and true. And you don't, Douglas, yeah. I'm telling you, that's you true. don't get to go back. And that's some true. of us want to go back, believe me, but you that's don't true. get to go back. Yeah, and Douglas, <laughs> you know what, the political brothers, right? Because you know what, I can't get caught up with all of the crap that's being said about our wonderful president. And I'm going to enjoy the moment that I took part in history. This is my Kennedy time. You know, you know, my, my, my parents' time, they were really excited about, mm -hmm. you know, President Kennedy and what have you. I was too young, you know, because I was born the year he was elected. So I'm yeah. going to enjoy the I fact that I like this president. It, I like the fact that he came in and, 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 and I was a part of that and I'm happy about that. So that's how that's the only way I can look at it. So No, I understand what you guys are saying about the whole enjoy.